Hey y'all and welcome to Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and I'm going to be showing you how to make a spring bunny decor piece for your home using Dollar Tree products. Now this is the sign I'm going to be using. It's cute on its own but it's not really my style. So I'm going to take this little metal bunny. It has a little metal bunny on the front which is cute but I'm gonna be painting the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and use it for another project. And I'm just using this, I don't even know what this is called, but I got it at the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just sliding it under, and I'm trying to carefully remove this so that I don't damage the sign. When I took off the bunny, it did damage it just a little bit, but I'm using the back anyway, so it's okay. And I'm gonna be able to use this guy for another project. I'm just flipping it over and gonna take out the little string that's holding it in. I'm going to paint this black and I'm using the Rust-Oleum chalked paint and charcoal. Now I have the whole thing painted black. I did end up going to the edges because in case I want to distress it later after I put the white on, it'll have the black underneath. I think it'll make it look kind of cool. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm going to try to dry this off a little bit so that I can put the stencil on. I've dried the board now. It is a little bit streaky. So if you don't like the streaky look, you may have to put a second coat on and or maybe let it dry naturally. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead because it's dry enough for me to go to the next step, or at least I think so. Hope so. Again, this is the contact paper from Dollar Tree, and I'm hoping it sticks enough on, around all the edges to not let the paint seep in. That actually looks kind of cute just like that, but that's not how I'm finishing it. I'm really wanting to paint over it and then pull up the stencil that I'm using. I hope this works. For this part, I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in Linen White. Keep in mind, you can get chalkboard paint at Dollar Tree. You can also get white paint. I'm sure there are other colors, but I just happen to have this Rust-Oleum paint on hand, so I'm going to use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint from the stencil outward, so to hopefully minimize any seepage. <laughs> I've applied a fairly generous coat of the white, so now I'm going to let it dry. I don't think I'm going to put a second coat, and I'm just really hoping it's not seeping underneath <laughs> the, um, the bunny, the bunny contact paper. So we're going to let that dry. I'm not going to use my heat gun. I'm just going to let it dry. It's the next day, and this is completely dry. So. I'm going to finish this out. And like I said earlier, this side of the sign was fine, but I'm just not really into glitter that much. And I was wanting to use that metal bunny for something else. So I'm going to try to put this back and hope that it worked. Seems to be coming off okay. Although that feels a little sticky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. Have any of y'all tried to do a reverse stencil with contact paper, and if so, how did it work out for you? Okay, so overall, this came off really easily. Um, I just had to barely kind of pick at the little corner here to get it started, but this part right here, it's definitely left a residue. So, I'm not exactly sure how to work around that, I started to dab at it with this paper towel, but it's now the, the paper towel is leaving. I don't know if you can see or not, but the paper towel has left some of the fibers on there. So, um, so I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the paint and kind of paint over it. Some of y'all may be screaming at the screen saying, no, don't try to paint it. But I think, I don't know, just feel like I need to try and paint over part of it and see if it works. Now I'm going to try to dry it with my heat gun. See if that took away some of the stickiness. Okay, now it's dry and it's not as sticky. I just looked at my hand because I thought maybe the paint had come up, but it's dry. So yay, that worked. To finish this off, I'm going to hot glue the little bunny tail that I took off of my little stencil and I'm gonna glue that on here. I'm gonna wrap a little bit of jute to twine around the top and then I'm gonna make a bow out of this um, ribbon. I couldn't even think, I was gonna say bow making material. That's not what it's called. Well, I mean, 
I guess technically that's what it's called, but it's, it's ribbon. So what I was thinking was to wrap this jute twine around here just a few times, not trying to keep it super, you know, just like that, just a few times. And then I'm gonna put the bow in the corner over here. So what I'm gonna do is just actually make like a little bow tie kind of bow and I'm folding it, folding it this way and then folding it. Then I'm gonna cut right here because this will be hidden behind anyway. You won't see it. Then I'm gonna take some twine and I'm gonna wrap it around the middle and kind of pull it together. And I'm hoping that that's gonna work fantastic. There. Oh, I need the bunny tail. Ha! Almost forgot the bunny tail. There. And that's how my little project turned out. For this quick little project, I am just using a piece of scrap wood that I got from a construction site. I'm using my Rust-Oleum Chopped Ultra Matte Paint in Linen White. And I'm going to paint this and I'm going to add one of these rub-on transfers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just creating this as a little decor piece for one of my tiered trays. And I'm painting all the sides that you can see except for the bottom. I'm not painting the bottom. <laughs> because you know, I can see that. I want to be able to set it down to dry. I finished painting this. I did not paint the bottom. You're not going to see it. I could have painted the bottom, but I didn't. So now I'm going to take these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree and I've already kind of cut out the word adventure. And so I'm going to place that, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it because I was thinking to wrap some twine around one end. So I'm um, going to see how this goes. I'm taking this is actually, you know, a Pampered Chef scraper thing, but it, I'm just trying to make sure that all of the letters are transferring down before I pull back the clear part. So I'm trying to slowly pull it back because if one of the letters didn't transfer all the way, then I can go back and rub a little bit harder, but I think, whoops, no, see, the D needs a little bit more work, which is fine. So the V didn't transfer all the way. There's still a little dot. Let me see if I can't. If not, I can just go back with a little paint pen and fix it. No, it worked. Oh, part of the D didn't go down. There we go. And now it says adventure. So I thought I would just take a little bit more jute twine from, I don't know where I got that from actually. I was gonna say Dollar Tree, but I don't think it was Dollar Tree. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it around a few times and then put, just so it looks kind of, I don't know, just adding something to it. This is gonna go on one of my tear trays and I think it turned out really cute. 